What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Hopefully you all had a great week and if this is the first time you stopping by the channel, I definitely appreciate you clicking on this video. So don't forget to smash that subscribe button if you haven't already so you don't miss out on any future videos. We are finally, finally getting to the stuff we have picked up over the past few weeks from Q case, which has been in this bag for almost two and a half weeks now, to some vintage pickups from the Trader's Market, and of course, this beauty right here, the new 2022 five pack. It's the Hot Wheels Circle Track, and the main reason I got it is for the Mach 1 right there. Now you have that really cool striped deco in red and blue. Then you have one, two on the side, as well as the roof but the gold five slots, man, that looks nice. Then of course you have the beautiful Grand National right there in that nice pearlescent orange with the number five and the muddy steelies. Now I wish they would have thrown some different wheels on there, but it is a circle track pack. So these are cars that you would see on the dirt track. So you can't really fault them for throwing those wheels on there, even though I wish they had regular wheels like the Mach 1, but it is what it is, it's an awesome casting. And then you have the fast gassing in black and blue. And then finishing with this number one Camaro Z28 in this brown metallic. That thing is super clean. And then in the last spot you have the maximum leeway. I do have a few of those. They're actually kind of cool for the dirt track type of car, but yeah, there we go. So awesome lineup for this new five pack. Definitely dig this one. So just keep an eye out for the maximum leeway right there on the side in case you're just looking through a whole row of five packs. Just keep an eye out for this deco. Some people just look out for this, but I always look on the side for the card art. So now into this bag right here, guys. This is kind of a mixture of new stuff and trader's market stuff. So we have right here, guys, the 2022's wave four of Joey Logano's seventh gen triple a insurance car check this out this thing is super clean love the seventh gen castings i think these are probably my favorites so far i do have the older triple a in the sixth gen which i do really like with the red wheels but that one was really cool to find along with that i did find the new kyle bush interstate 18 car which i think is an awesome livery as well it's the toyota camry so here goes this one for the collection add the snickers then of course the Eminem with his hauler. But other than that, I don't really have much more to the Kyle Busch collection, but I definitely wanted to grab the new interstate car for it. It's definitely a sweet one. So the chase for this one is the Auto Trader number two. Um, now, just because it says look for the Auto Trader chase piece doesn't mean that that car right there is the chase. It has to be the liquid chase, which has the holographic sticker as well as the chromatic paint which you would see like on this Ross Chastain. You got the sticker. Then of course you have the liquid chrome red, which is kind of hard to see right now, but let's get a closer look to it. So you can see it's more of a chromatic finish, not a red and yellow, which you would see on the normal casting. And next up, I finally, finally found the seventh gen test car of the ZL1. I've been trying to get my hands on this one um, when I picked up the Mustang and the Camry, these were the ones that were unveiled when they released the 7th Gen Mustang. So it was this one and the Camry, which has the really cool TRD livery on there with the 22. But I could not find the ZL1 with the original release of the Camaro for the 7th Gen. So we finally got this one added which I think this thing looks super sweet. You got the American flag running from hood across the roof down onto the trunk. Thing is awesome. So there are those. These are the new 7th Gen. And then I did pick up my buddy David, this Chase Elliott of the Universe number nine. So he does have a huge collection of Chase Elliott. So anytime I see one, I always think of him. And of course, I figured he didn't have this one since it's the newest and last wave of the year so of course he didn't have it so i will be sending this to him along with some other goodies all right next up we did pick up a moving parts this thing is actually pretty cool 
It's the Henry J. Gasser. Now check this out, guys. Red enamel. You have the Edelbrock 52 deco. Of course, that opening hood is awesome. You got the 427 crammed into that. And that thing just looks wicked, man. Love the black steelies in the front as well as the rear. Now they are a different type of steely, but man, check that out. That thing is awesome. Love this one, man. Now, normally I don't really go into the moving parts unless it's like a Corvette or a Mustang. I've seen a few castings in the past that are really, really cool, but it's never enough for me to really purchase it. So this one is definitely one I did not want to pass up. All right, this one, just an extra for the collection. This one right here, guys, the new Boulevard series of the Corvette Z06. This thing is awesome. We've seen the Corvette in this similar setup before, but it was in the darker blue and the Speed Society just looks wild. Check that out, man. So of course you do have that huge blower sticking out the front and you have that staging diffuser sticking out the front. But man, this thing is sweet, man. And I love how they actually did the parachutes in red. It just really ties in everything. So beautiful Corvette, man. This thing is awesome. So out of the series, you have the Toyota Supra, which is the GR version. Then the 73 Holden Monaro, the Mercedes-Benz 300 SEL 6.8 AMG, and the Alfa Romeo 155 V6 Ti. Now I've seen all of these except for the Supra. And you know, to be honest, seeing all the other ones in person, I was not impressed. I was not impressed. So the Corvette was really the only one I felt I needed to pick up. All the other ones looked nice, but not nice enough for me to buy. Next up, I picked up the new F-150 out of the Jurassic Park series. It's the 86 Ford F-150 truck in this beautiful red. And I love the tan interior with the tan panel running along the side. So really, really cool truck. The tampos for the headlights look really good with the blue oval. And then of course, coming around the back, you don't have anything except for the chrome bumper, but still an awesome truck. I did pick up two of these because one is going to die cast life and death, our buddy David over there. The next two are from Sean. My dude hooked it up with the treasure hunt skateboards out of the Hot Wheels new series. You can see the little treasure hunt logo right there. And then of course, Tony Hawk. So I do have a few of these skateboards because it's just that was just my life growing up man skating was my life and definitely wanted to get the hot wheels and tony hawk collaborating boards right here but the two treasure hunts never found any in the wild of course everyone is going wild over these i feel like it's the old school skaters that are picking these up now of course the collectors are getting the treasure hunts definitely appreciate sean hooking it up with two treasure hunt skateboards right there. Let's see, next one is the second one. This is actually for David over at Diecast Life and Death. So we'll set that off over here. Next two, now normally I don't pick these up guys. They were just too freaking clean looking. You have the 71 Skyline GTR in this beautiful pink metallic. And it's out of the special order paint color of the pink series M2. So definitely an awesome one. I used to have a couple of these M2 Skylines and then ended up throwing them in a trade. So I got that one as well as this beautiful 73 Cheyenne. Now I don't collect square bodies, but this thing is super sick looking. Check it out. That thing is awesome. I love that it has no bed on it. The wheels look super clean in those good years. And then of course the turbos sticking out the front. That thing is sweet, man. I love the shark mouth like the fighter jet wrapped around the front of this truck. So there's this one. All right, now the next ones are from the Trader's Market. Check this out. Now this is the Mars Rover Curiosity. Now we've seen the latest one. I can't remember which one it was. Uh, I think it's Perseverance. So this one was the OG version of the Mars Rover Curiosity out of the Hot Wheels City. So this thing was super cool. So I definitely wanted this one to go with the Perseverance. I think it's Perseverance. Yeah, I wanted them two to go together, but you do have the clear base and the OH5s in chrome and tan. Next one's up. These are some really cool finds right here. We have the Acura NSX in this really nice gold metallic with the red and black deco. 
you have the huge wing and of course it is the modified version of the nsx love the black pr5s with the white ring on them chrome interior and this is out of the track stars for 2010. so the other variations i do have of this casting are sitting right here so we got the green the pearl white and the silver i believe those are the only ones i have so this one was just another one for the variations of the nsx we're just going to move these off to the side all right and then next up is the pro stock firebird check this out this thing is beautiful you got the pearl white with the red and white flames you got the red tinted glass blue metallic blower and then you do have the red chrome five spokes but this thing is super clean another variation rabbit hole to go down because i do have a few of these we have the yellow kaboom the black and the blue along with the white i'm not sure if i have any other variations of it i might but uh definitely did not have this one and this is just another awesome one from 2009's hot wheels racing release next up is this beautiful and i mean beautiful 57 chevy of course it's the open motor version of it with the chrome three spokes and then you have costa's taxi fleet service that is sweet man i would love to get a ride from a taxi in this beauty so it's collector number 53 out of 2001's turbo taxi series beautiful man next one we got is the bread box check this out love that it's rocking the hot wheels postal service deco it's just a really cool casting so i really wanted this one mainly because of all the mail calls we get we can have the little truck but check it out you got a little engine sitting in the back with the intake you can see the valve covers and all that so it is hauling a motor that someone purchased. That is so cool. Did not even notice that. Love the Easter eggs, man. That one would be a really cool feature to detail on a custom. So it's out of the 2010 new models for the Hot Wheels release. This thing is super cool too. Now we did grab another version of the Group C Racer. This is out of Matchbox. This thing's actually in really good condition. Check that out. Got the yellow enamel with the blue and orange stripes with the number two meatball. Old matchbox, but definitely love this one. I have a couple variations of this one, and I know there are some that are only released overseas, and then there's some that are released only in the US. So I gotta figure out which version this is. This might be a rest of world where it's pretty much sold everywhere. So this is just another cool variation for the collection. Next up, check this out guys. This thing is rough, but still super cool. You got the Ford Escort out of Majorette. It's the XR3. Check it out, made in France. Definitely love these castings. You got the hatchback, the umbrella, and a little satchel in the rear. Check that out. Really, really cool. Love these vintage ones, man. This is just an awesome one. I know I have a white one of this. And it does have the tow hitch, but it doesn't have that red tow hitch lock on there. So this is a different variation to the one I have. Check this out, guys. Look at this Stingray. This is so unique. Now, this is an older Matchbox. It's actually the Streak Ray. I have never heard them call the Corvette a Streak Ray. But you guys let me know down in the comments if this was like the prototype version of it. You do have three taillights and the wide body to it. So I don't know, you guys let me know, but it does say VET on it, so it doesn't seem like it's a licensing issue. You do have the clear headlights, that's actually kind of cool. So didn't pay $2 for this. I want to remove that so we can get the adhesive off. Another vintage Corvette for the collection. This thing is actually really, really huge, and this one doesn't have the scale on it but it is a 1982 casting license next one we picked up is the kyle petty hot wheels race car and i believe this is a mcdonald's car let's see yep manufactured for mcdonald's 1998 um, this one does have the really cool stickers and livery on there of course matching the one that we have in the collection rocking the 44 now it's not the same one of course but definitely wanted this one i believe i picked up two of these because it's been a while since i did purchase this bag a long time ago yep here we go number two is another 44 kyle petty so there we go 
These were all 25 cent cars, so you cannot go wrong. Next one is this right here, guys. If you are not familiar with this car, you definitely gotta grab one. I think they are super cool, especially finding in the wild. And I can't remember what this car is called, but this is the DMC DeLorean. Before they were able to use the DeLorean name, um, they released the casting and then last minute, I believe DMC said, nope, you cannot use our tooling. So they had to do some last minute changes. They added the arrows to the taillights. They changed the rear just a little bit. And then the front, they just really, really butchered it to make it look different than the DMC. So you can see the gold wing doors. Of course, this is a yellow enamel version. I don't know what the real deco looks like because you can see there is some remnants of some pink or maybe that's just color from maybe rubbing from other castings, but I'll definitely try to post the picture of what it's supposed to look like. But there is this one. Um, the other version I have is the red one that goes with the actual DMC DeLorean Super. Now that livery is a nod to this one, which was the OG version of it. I have a base variation, which I didn't realize until I was looking at it. So I have this one as well, but this one has the black base. That one has the tan base. So I was actually gonna throw this in a package for someone uh, because they were looking for some vintage cars. I was going through my stuff and I was like, wait a minute, black base, tan base. Always, always double check guys. Just because it looks the same doesn't mean that it is. So definitely stoked to have another variation of that casting but just in yellow. Next up, we got a couple Camaros. Now these are really cool ones right here. Um, let's see, we got three more, I believe. First one is this orange one. It's another Z28. This thing looks really cool. And this orange with the cool yellow and pink deco on there. It's totally rocking the 80s look. And of course you got the basic black walls all the way around with the meteor ones in the rear but blacked out windows because there's no interior to this. And of course you have these massive leaf springs on there. Look at that. So there's the orange one. Then we got this purple one. Never seen this before. Of course it's got another old school deco on there. Kind of another 80s look to it. Um, but yeah, grab these two. I thought that was really cool finds. And then the Camaros guys, look at this. Now these are versions of the Z28 I do not have. Got this really cool blue metallic with the white flames and red interior with the Hot One wheels in gold. This is metal on metal. So check that out. 83 casting license. So I don't know what series this came out of or what the original release year for this was, but we got it in blue. And then this one right here, this is awesome. Check that out, dude. That is a nice, nice baby blue with a pink. Love the retro colors, man. It's like this just really dates it back to the colors that Hot Wheels use a lot. A lot of the light baby blues, the pinks, the yellows, just really, really out there. So this one is the 74 Blown Camaro. Now this one says Blown Camaro and this one doesn't say anything at all. Just a Malaysia base. So I'm assuming that's another blown Camaro because you know how they used to like switching up names. Um, but this one does have the Z28 as well on the front. And I don't see anything else different between the two. Next one is this Corvette. Now this one I got from Sean. Sean hooked it up with a couple of these Camaros and the Corvettes when we met up and then I threw him some cash because I just felt bad that he was hooking me up with these goodies. Um, but we got this awesome, I think it's a 62 Corvette in orange. Now this is awesome, man. Love the race livery on this one, the white stripe with the 11 meatball. And of course, old school Matchbox is always, always a heavy hitter in a collection. So don't ever pass up traders markets or thrift stores because that's where you find all of the really, really cool stuff. Like these Camaros, you're not gonna find anywhere in store. These are the ones that people really wanna get their hands on. Next up, this one it was also from Sean, the number six Pfizer of Mark Martin's car. Now this is another variation to the collection of the Mark Martin Pfizer cars. Now the ones I have are all see-through interior variations. 
um, this one's just a blacked out version so another mark martin variation for the collection awesome dude and then he also threw in this one check this out man you got the casey kane number nine dodge intrepid now i really wanted this one because i got the larger scale sitting right there so sean huge huge thanks for hooking it up with a couple of these cars that we uh kind of made a little side deal on so definitely appreciate you my man oh i think i have one more in here almost forgot check this out guys this is a key slot camaro look at that dude this is awesome this is the stuff i love finding now this is a burnick key car it's out of matchbox 1986 casting license but look at that man that is awesome still has the spring inside so i don't know how these work i'm pretty sure it's very close to just putting a little key in there pushing a button and it just shoots it out definitely loving the modified camaro man that is awesome so this is what we got mainly kind of mixture of traders market and newer stuff now this stuff right here guys is 2022 q case to finish out the year we have the new recolor of the honda civic custom in red best color release but i still think the blue one looks best and i think it's the white bumpers that are throwing it off but a nice little paint job would totally fix that but of course still a beautiful beautiful civic out of the hot wheels j imports Got the chrome five spokes, chrome aero discs in the rear, white interior, and of course the Ryu Asada race decos on the side, and the 78R on the hood. Next one is the 65 2 plus 2. You guys know I needed this one for the collection. Yes, this is a need and a want, but we got it. Beautiful maroon metallic, super heavy in the flake. Then you got the chrome five spokes and the white racing stripe. So another awesome color release for the 65 2 plus 2 out of muscle mania definitely love that one then next up we got another recolor of the 2006 gto this one is probably my favorite so far of the newest release now i like the burnt orange and the blue when they first came out with them but this black and yellow that is a super sweet street setup love the yellow five spokes nice willy bar in the back parachute where the license plate is but that Pontiac Deco is nice. So Hot Wheels Drag Strip Series. Next one we have is another recolor of the 69 Copo in yellow. Very clean. I'm just glad they're not going too crazy with these. It's just a subtle and very, very nice recolor. So you got the black stripe wrapping around the front along the side. And then just the Camaro badge with the black MC5s. So very, very nice. Muscle Mania always puts out some really good castings. Next one is the Bone Shaker in gold. I wasn't sure if I had this one. And being that it was out of Q case, I couldn't remember if the other one I picked up was out of P case or not. So I grabbed it just in case it was a variation, but it's just a duplicate. So there's another Bone Shaker. Next one we picked up, I've been waiting to get my hands on and it's the Matt and Debbie Hayes. 1988 pro street thunderbird check that out man so these guys actually won the legends tour with this car and i think this thing is awesome love the setup the color is awesome of course this is the color of their actual car that bubblegum pink metallic with the chrome five spokes nicely tucked in there to give it a nice drag stance but very very nice you got the headlight covers in black with the thunderbird badge in the front that is it for detail but other than that man that thing is awesome next up is another recolor of the 40s ford pickup in red probably the best variation so far um, between this one and the blue i do have a couple i don't have that many of the 40s ford maybe it's over here yep so we got the blue one right here this is all mixed up but blue one and then uh i want to say i have some other ones 40s ford maybe not maybe i don't have that many but another beautiful recolor in red enamel with the gold five spokes and white interior so this is just another awesome recolor with the comp cams deco next up is one we haven't seen in a while but another good release it's the 72 ford grand torino sport in this nice orange metallic you have the white stripe running along the side down the hood and trunk 
And then you got the chrome interior and chrome MC5s with chrome front and rear bumpers. Beautiful, beautiful Torino, man. All right, next up is the Audi Quattro. This is another recolor for the collection out of the Rally Champs. Now this blue is a awesome, awesome shade of blue. Love the white ten spokes. You got the Audi Quattro Tampos with the German stripes running along the side. I think that is super clean. I like this one much better than the green that came out, which is, where are you at? This one. So the yellow one is really cool as well, the white. You got the red one, and then the super is this awesome Spectra Flame. That thing is sick. The next up, I did pick up a second one in case anyone needed it. Um, so I will set this off to the side. I'm sure I'm gonna get messages over it, but that's kind of the reason why I do that, to see who else needs it. I did pick up Rich some of these recolors. He posted it a while back, but yeah, I had to hook up my buddy with them. Next up is the 70 Ford Escort RS 1600 recolor in this beautiful pearlescent baby blue. Now that's a color they don't use too often. Digging the setup, you got the small five spokes in white. Then you have that really cool deco running along the side. So awesome, awesome Escort right there. Next one is the 81 Camaro in this beautiful metallic green with a lime green stripe. And of course you have some sponsors on the side. You got Hot Wheels, Chevy, Bell, Edelbrock, B&M, and Mr. Gasket, along with the Hurst Comp Shifters. There we go. Beautiful, man. Now this is the mainline version of the Super. I don't think I'll ever catch that one in the wild. Maybe in a trade, but other than that, I am fine having the mainline. It is still a beautiful 81 right there. So out of the then and now series. Next up, we have a new Porsche 911 GT3. Now this is awesome, man. Love the satin black with the gray Y5s. And of course you have the awesome Tampos for the taillights, reflectors, the 911 GT3 license plate, and then of course the smoke tinted headlights, which are attached to the glass itself. But beautiful man this thing is awesome love this one the blue one was beautiful as well but factory fresh always puts out the heat man another awesome recolor for the porsche collection next up we have the new recolor of the 71 mira sv another lamborghini gotta have it man tail lights and tampos for the rear are done nicely got the chrome mc5s gray interior and of course, coming around the front, headlights are done. And then you do have the bull badge right there in the front with the heat extractors. Finishing up, we have two more blue castings. You can see the Hot Wheels is blue heavy for this year. We got a lot of blues. Um, but this one right here, guys, Shelby GT350R in this awesome blue metallic. Love this one, man. Check it out. Tail lights are done. The deck lid with the Hot Wheels flame, gray PR5s, and of course you have the silver stripe with the white outline, but no front tampos, but I will take rear tampos over the front any day because a Mustang is identifiable by those three bar tail lights, but this is awesome. We haven't seen one in a while, except from not even this series. Um, I think the one that is closest to this one is out of the night burners which is very close as well the gt350r um, we did see one out of the forza set that's probably the last time we've seen one but just really really stoked to get my hands on some new mustangs and then last one is the mclaren elva in this awesome blue metallic same blue they used on the shelby you can see it's the exact same shade no color variation to it so the one right before this one was the black with the peanut butter interior, which I think is still my favorite, but the gray 10 spokes, number 12 and the white stripes. So Hot Wheels Exotics is putting out some heat to finish out the year, which I'm glad they focused heavily on the supercars and the retro Lamborghinis. So here we go, guys. This is what we picked up and I've been trying to go over with you guys. I just get caught up in mail calls and trades, but this is some really good stuff right here. We got the premium 2012 Z06 with the Alex Laughlin premium. 
We got the Mars Rover Curiosity, Jurassic Park F-150, the NASCAR 7th Gen, the Pink Series M2s. We got some really cool variations to some 57s, Pro Stock Firebird, and the NSX. Some really cool loose die cast right here from the vintage Camaro, the key car Camaro, and then of course the new 2022 finishing out Q case for the year. Now we just gotta wait for 2023's A case and then we start this all over for the next year. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a huge thumbs up. And of course, comment down below your thoughts on what we've picked up over the past few weeks. And of course, Sean, again, thank you so much for hooking it up with these cars. These are awesome additions. But other than that, guys, I have nothing else. Until next time, this is the Mustang Hunter. Peace.